Crime Prevention Council. Now, if you take a look at the logo, the Delta League has a football there. Now, that's very interesting because Delta League was supposed to be a football program, but they changed into eSports as the pandemic continued. And let's go and take a look at the game in front of us right now. Belmont going bottom and uh, Leslie is taking top against the uh, Magic Fighter. <laughs> Looks like Alucard's at the toilet. Well, what you gonna do? When you have to go, you have to go. And it looks like we're starting off with the uh, Alucard getting some farm in. Belmont and the... <laughs> we're seeing some very interesting play here. Mid is completely empty of people. Looks like the Kagura, the Umbrella Lady, is just going back and forth looking for people to harass but not finding anybody at the mid lane. Huh. <laughs> Very uh, interesting tactics both teams are employing. The Alucard is just focusing on farming with the Tigreal helping the Alucard get that creeps. But because they're doing that, they're leaving Kagura the whole mid lane to herself. And we're seeing Leslie having some trouble at top lane. Barely getting any levels, barely getting any creeps as well, with Bruno and the rest harassing her to oblivion. Now we see Tigreal is still at level 1, Kagura is at level 3 now. Oh, Glue looking for a mistake here. Looks like they're gonna set up a ambush, and there we go. They attempted to initiate, but they retreated into the tower, so they're not going, they're falling back. That's a good call. But I feel that if they tried, if they just committed full, they could have gotten two kills, at least the Tigreal, since it's so low on health. But maybe that would be a trade they, not, they don't want to risk. You still see the Alucard getting the red buff. Now he is strong enough to take the creeps all by himself. Oh, and we see... Oh, <laughs> crap! And the Belmont came from nowhere, but that they tried. Belmont still able to, to get rid of it, but will he be? No, he's not gonna escape. No, no, no. Looked like he was gonna escape. If he just backed off, he wouldn't have been killed, but he did anyway. When the PS saw an opportunity and they struck, and now they're going to take this turtle for free. And the hit blast FC can do nothing but watch. Red team has slain the turtle. So right now it's still it's still anybody's game, but you can see PS does have a slight advantage now, and they are going in and oh, <laughs> very easy kill on those two heroes. But if Hit Blast plays their cards right, they might still be able to turn the tables. But as of right now, PS is in a slight lead. You can see that the gold advantage is very much in PS's favor. Around 2.5k lead in gold. And that's not what you want for a team focused on the late game. Ooh, he's in big trouble. He's, he's able to recall. Leslie is, might be able to escape. No! Denied the recall. They went in and they're gonna clean up shop, Hero killing two played. of their heroes. Taigu was there, but he couldn't do anything. He just he just watched his friends die. Came a bit too late. And now it's 5-0. Things are not looking good for Hit Blast FC. And there we go. Six kill by PS. Still looking at zero by Hit Blast. Alucard is still farming away. Maybe Alucard could turn the tables if he <laughs> if he decides to join the fight sometime, but it looks like PS is in a massive lead and slowly gaining one advantage, and nope! Alucard is being engaged and he is down! <laughs> okay. I think we might see a quick match this game, ladies and gentlemen. PS is now in the lead by 4,000 gold. And it's barely even been five minutes. <laughs> 
And, oh, Taigu is trying to retreat, but no, he's not going to be able. Oh, we just see him being harassed to death. <sighs> now the shields are down and PS is going to push the towers. Eluka coming in trying to defend the tower, but will he be able to make the kill? I don't think so. Uh, but oh, Leslie's coming in to join the fight. Oh, this might turn the tables and. Is Leslie. Yep, Leslie has killed that guy. Very good. Oh, but they managed to catch the Leslie anyway at the tower. So it's a one for one trade. One one saying sorry, she's feeding, and now Hitlas trying to get the creeps, but PS is denying the jungle and denying the heroes of their lives. In another wipe, they're trying their best to hold the fight, but uh, it doesn't look good for our friends Hitlas FC. PS is now gaining slowly but surely map control. They are now in the enemy's jungle, denying them of their creeps. Comeback for Hitlas looks ever more. <laughs> Unlikely at this stage of the game. Leslie can do nothing but watch the 1 1 melt away. Her siege creeps. creeps. It will take a miracle for him not to come back at this. Oh, maybe we're seeing this miracle right now. Velmon is going at. Yep. <laughs> Manages to kill one. Very good. Now we just need. If PS overextends and makes more mistakes, Hitblast might be able to take the lead. So they must be careful not to be too greedy. Because they haven't won the game yet. Anything can still happen. They have a significant lead, but anything can still happen. A big mistake is all it takes. Alucard, ah, he tried. He knew he was going to die. He tried to deal as much damage as he can. And looks like Belmont will he be able to escape just barely with a silver of life left. Not enough damage from the Bruno and the glue. Now we're seeing PS stick together and pushing as many towers as they can. While Hitblast FC <laughs> can't, can't really do anything but wait for a big mistake possibly by PS. But at this stage of the game, maybe even one team wipe for Hitblast <laughs> would not be enough. And Belmont caught out of position, alone at the bottom tower, and uh, and Belmont paid for that. Oh, Tiger, no! What are you doing? You're there alone. Can I gank on? Yes, yes, you did. Can I gank on? Oh, what a big pull! That's a great ulti from Gloom, pulling everybody inside, allowing Bruno to bang, bang, bang the balls up in their faces. And that's three kills just like that. Ooh, they're even going inside the base with the tower still on. How are they gonna escape? Ooh, there we go. Bruno just swiped across the wall and Glue walked out of the tower. Nothing done. Oh, Atlas, not Glue. My mistake, fellas. So yes, as the gold lead ever increases for PS, Hitlas is now left defending their base, hoping for a miracle to turn the tables. But they are not in the lead in terms of levels, they're not in the lead in terms of gold. I think this is very much the end for them. And we see a big team fight here, but it's not even a fight. More like a cleanup. PS is now looking to end the game as quickly as possible, save the energy for the next round. And Bruno manages to kill the Tigreal. Is it any surprise anymore? 
Sumner has been shut down, but this is not enough for Hitlust to come back. All three turrets down for Hitlust FC. We see some kills here and there, but <laughs> Leslie is left to fend for herself. Tiger coming in to help, but no, she's down. Tiger, what can you do? <laughs> Oh, look at that 1-1 one, one just teleporting all over the place and that's it. PS takes this first round. Victory! Of course, this tournament is a round-robin tournament, so it's a best of three. So we'll be seeing another game out of those two, Hit Blast versus PS.